Welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah. Today I'm going to be planting my tomatoes. Um, if you saw the last video, we just finished doing this um, planter project that we have back here. So these are going to be the first plants that I'm going to be putting into the ground here. So I'm super excited about that. Also, I got a microphone. So this is a big day, you know, using a new microphone. So I hope the audio sounds better. I have my assistant Django here. Um, he's kind of on high alert for lizards right now, so if he darts off somewhere, he's looking for a lizard to be his best friend. So he's searching around right now. Um, so these tomato plants I got from Rogers Gardens, which is in Newport Beach, um, which is about 30 minutes away from where we live. I got them about a month ago, and they were in smaller pots, but I transferred them in, into these bigger pots so that they had a little bit more growing room. Um, but basically, I have the root starter here that I got at Armstrong Dr. Earth. For some reason, I always grab this because it's organic and it's the easiest for me to get. And then I have um, just the tomato just fertilizer that I'm going to put in here. So I'll go ahead and get started. So what I'll do first is I'm going to dig the hole here. Uh, if you can see, I have these drip irrigation here, so that's what I'm going to be using to water this once we get it planted. But I'm going to dig a hole that's just about twice as big as the container. So I'm going to spread away some of this potting soil. No, what was this? Raised bed soil. So I'm going to spread that away. Then we'll get down to the other soil that we had put down here. Okay, so I have dug down, um, it's not two times the width, but it's bigger than the bowl or the container that this is in. So what I'm gonna do is put some of this fertilizer in here. This is just the tomato fertilizer, tomato and vegetable. Then I will put the starter fertilizer. And I don't know how to say that word, the microchrysi, whatever it is that has it in here so we'll put some of that in just to help with the roots and then we'll just kind of mush it up in here so what i'm going to do with this now this is probably going to fall apart because i just put the potting soil in it so it's not super oh, that's okay actually oh no there it goes okay <clears throat> so i'm going to cut off these um branches, I guess you would call them here, and I'm going to put these under the soil, and that is where um, some more roots are going to come out of here. So then I'm going to bury the soil probably just to about right under this one. Um, I, I'm using just scissors because I can't find my pruners right now, but that's okay. So we'll put this in here. Oh, gonna... <laughs> Sorry, my dog gets scared. Okay, so... Um, We'll put this in here. Okay, maybe a little bit more of the soil that we just took off here. Can you come over here and show the the hole here? Okay. So that looks like it'll be just about level. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that'll be good. So we'll just mix back in this. And then I'll take some of this better garden raised bed soil and just put this around here. And then we'll just kind of push it down, not too hard. Okay, so that's looking good. So um, eventually I'll cut this off since it's touching, but I'll just let it hang out there for now. Um, but then what I'm gonna do is put a cage, which I got a different kind that I've never used before. Um, 
This was from Home Depot. I've got to make sure I don't hit Django again and he squeals. Uh, this is called the Ultimate Tomato Cage. So it has little um, smaller pieces that you connect. Uh, I actually have one that I already put together here. So let me grab that. Okay, so this is uh, the tomato cage that I was talking about. So I put this together already, but basically you just snap it on. It has these little pieces and then you can kind of level it off where you want. So these things will be single by themselves and then you just snap this on and you can kind of build it. So I'm gonna put this in now. And then as this grows, I can adjust where I want these pieces if I want to, you know, raise it up, raise it up, uh, lower it, whatever it is. So let me just shove this down in here. That should be good because it's not going to need too much support down here. We'll just get that little leaf there. Okay, so that looks good for now. So I'm going to do the same thing and plant all the other ones and then we'll go through them at the end. So I have finished planting all of these. Like I did earlier, I put this in. I'm gonna put these in after, but first I'll just go through each of the tomatoes that I have. This one is Tomato Butter Boy. Um, I this one last year, I think it was. Just, it's an all around, uh, very common one and um, you know always does well. It, let's see, um, nothing really crazy about this one. So. Just kind of a normal one. I'm excited about that. This one is Thornburn's Terracotta. So when I went to Rogers Gardens about a month ago, they had what's called Tomato Mania, and they have all of these and all different kinds of tomatoes. This one was chosen for or as the 2020 Tomato of the Year. So it says, with honey brown skin, orange pink flesh, and green seed mass, this is an eye-catching slice with an out-of-this-world flavor. The fruit ranges from six ounces to one pound. Um, I think it's semi-determinant, and it says 75 days to harvest. So we'll see how this one goes. It's, it's kind of, like it said, an orange, really funky color. So I thought it'd be fun to grow this one since it's the tomato of the year, whatever it is. Then this one here. San Marzano. I had someone, I don't even know if it's Marzano, Marzano. I'm not really sure how to say it, but I did have someone tell me that this one was their favorite to grow and it's especially good for making, um, what is it called? Tomato, not tomato soup. What is it called? That we just, tomato sauce, tomato sauce. So you can cut these up, boil them, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So this is really good for that. Um, matures in 70 to 90 days. Small, meaty tomatoes are well suited for canning. That too. Mild flavor. Um, so yeah, San Marzano. Marzano. I think that'll be a fun one. And, ooh, and the last one. This is called Tomato Sugary and it's non-GMO. Um, so it's the little cherry tomatoes. I always buy these at the store year round. I don't usually buy tomatoes unless they're in season, but the little cherry tomatoes always taste really, really good. So I always get those. So I wanted to get one so that I could grow my own. So I'm really excited about this. It says it's sweet flavored, which is what I really like. Um, and it says abundant clusters of small glossy fruit that is as sweet as candy, maybe sweeter. 
Unique oval shake is crack resistant. Vigorous growth, meaning pruning, may require staking. Grow in full sun for sweetest flavor. And it was the AAS, I forget what that stands for, AAS winner in 2005, indeterminate. So yeah, tomato sugary non-GMO. So I'm super excited about all these. Um, I'm gonna water these all in really well. I'll put the um, steaks in and get everything good. And then I will give you guys updates on this. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Shh. <laughs>